Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I wanted to let you know that there is a firmware update on the Galaxy S20 series. And it doesn't matter which size you have, but when you plug in headphones through the USB Type-C port on the bottom, you'll notice that there'll be a small pop-up. You wanna hit on this little down arrow, letting you know that there is a firmware update. Now I did not update the Galaxy S20 Ultra just yet, so I don't know everything that is a part of this. But what I wanna let you guys know is that there is an update. Now I stopped real quick because I wanted to take a listen to the music. I wanted to see if there was more details about the firmware update. What exactly was it for? Was it some type of just a little patch? Was it for stability? I mean, it sounds really good. I didn't really see a huge difference, but because this video is shorter than normal, I wanted to do something a little different. You guys can write comments below the video if this is something that you guys are liking, if you're interested in seeing more of this, but I'll head right back inside of the YouTube studio right here, and I'm going to go through some of the most recent comments, questions, questions, concerns, uh, good comments, bad comments, things like that. And I'll just respond through the video here. Once this is done recording, I'll actually go back and respond back to everybody if there's anything that needed to be responded by. But again, let me know if this is something you guys would like to see more often. I'll do more of this towards the end of the video. So for this video here, for the eight ways to take a screenshot on the Samsung, uh, they mentioned you forgot the Bixby button by selecting custom command to take screenshot on single press or double press. But uh, with this one, I did cover Bixby by doing it through the voice and there was seven other ways of doing it so maybe there could be more that I missed but these are the main ways to take a screenshot uh, but there's always going to be something that I miss uh, especially with all of you guys watching and all eyes on the video for the original Galaxy Buds update, you get closer to the Galaxy Buds Plus. Uh, literally got the update notification minutes before the YouTube notification. Thanks for the great video. Uh, for the One UI 2, the Samsung uh, Android 10 update top features. Edge screen settings is missing from A80. Any idea? I don't have my A80 anymore as one of those phones that I sold, so I could not check on that for you. But uh, the edge screen settings should be there if it was already there from before. But this is only one of those that I might not be able to answer. Uh, but I'll, I'll respond back with something there. Right here it says uh, original Galaxy Buds update. You get closer to Galaxy Buds Plus. Great updates. Um, you know, Samsung devices. Uh, this one's talking about custom notification sounds. You know, thank you so much. Been trying to figure this out. Uh, trying to do this for such a long time. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I'm going to give this a heart and also a comment back. Let's see here, um, original Galaxy Buds update, you get closer to Galaxy Buds Plus, has the pop-up animation changed, nice video. Uh, it did not change at all. It, it stayed the exact same for the original Galaxy Buds. It's the Galaxy Buds Plus that just brings you a little bit more and maybe just a little bit more fire under, under the butt to actually update to a newer hardware you know, headset. So Galaxy Buds Plus is something that you know, I'm a huge fan of and the sound is just superior versus the original Galaxy Buds. The next comment was underneath the tricks for faster fingerprint unlock. You've never seen these tips before. Uh, the majority of these tips you've actually never seen before is my guess until you saw that video. Uh, let's see, this person has tried it on the Galaxy S10. It responded so fast, thank you so much. Let's see, for this one, I'm gonna give a little bit of a heart there. Uh, down here, awesome video, never seen such kind of a video. Awesome, I'm so glad that you guys are liking these videos. Uh, another one for the original Galaxy Buds. What do you mean by original? Of course, they're original. They're not copies. What I mean by original, it means that the original Galaxy Buds, not the Galaxy Buds Plus. And I'm glad I didn't get a comment where somebody said, well, the original Galaxy Buds was, you know, an older one. It looks different. That was actually the Gear Icon X. So Samsung switched their marketing, switched the names, and it's also a completely different, you know, wireless headset. So there was the Gear Icon X. Then we also had the, uh, the Galaxy Buds. And then the Galaxy Buds Plus. I just want to put the word original at the beginning, just so people would, didn't get confused, maybe by not putting that little plus symbol. Uh, let's see here, top 10 hidden features on the Note 10, Note 10 Plus. I can't, I can't did the 3D scanner in Bixby Vision. So just make sure that your Galaxy Store is the most up to date. Also make sure that you go inside of your camera, make sure you're not missing any updates. Go inside of the Galaxy Store and underneath the updates section, you might notice a few different updates there as well, but you should be able to have it there sitting there on the Galaxy Note 10. I don't see how it should be gone. I took a look at my Galaxy Note 10 and it actually still is sitting there. So I don't know exactly the response to this one, but other than I'm gonna respond back by stating, make sure you take a look at those three areas, camera, the Galaxy Store, and then within the Galaxy Store, 
make sure everything is updated there. Um, what about chatbots update and messages? So this is talking about the updated Samsung messages. So chatbots, it's, it's gonna depend per your carrier. Not every carrier has chat boxes or chatbots. And also depends if you use Samsung messages or if you use Google messages. So with this one, I'm gonna let them know um, that I don't really talk too much about the chatbots just because that's limited for the carrier of usage and also country. I'm gonna read just a couple more and then we'll be done. And then uh, that's just some of the comments for the last you know, three or five, or three or five hours. Original Galaxy Buds Plus update. Let's see, what are those features that are moved down? So it was actually mentioned inside the video uh, some of the things that was moved down was the ability of ambient sound with one headset in. You can also listen to one headset at the, uh, you know, at the specific time and frame. It added in the ability of doing Spotify and then also some of the other pairing features with Windows. So that was about three or four right there I just listed. That was all mentioned again in the video uh, that has moved down. Let's see. Um, this one says it's not working on the Galaxy S9 Plus update to good luck 2020. Yeah, that's why. Um, so with the S9s and the Note 9s, they're actually working on this update right now. So I'm going to put a heart there. I'm going to respond back. So those, this is where I'll stop. Um, but the S9 and Note 9 are actually under construction, I guess you can say. They're underneath beta for the One UI 2.1. So it will not work on the S9 Plus until this update actually comes, which unlocks certain things with inside of GoodLock 2020. But I hope you guys kind of liked a little bit of this at the end of the video where I answered questions, commented back. I'll respond back to them once I hit on, you know, finish recording. But give this thing a huge thumbs up and don't forget to hit on subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, you can subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.